Tim, what do you think uh, just allowed them to get loose for that many three-pointers tonight? Uh, I mean, I think we started we started them off by, you know, just not closing to the bodies like we talk about, you know, every day and shoot around. And when we went through personnel, you know, we talked about how they, they want to get a lot of threes up this year. Um, we talked about how they got guys, you know, seeing that it's more opportunity and they're going to be aggressive. And they have been aggressive even in the preseason. And I think um, in this league, uh, when you don't pay attention to details or you don't respect the details, um, guys see a couple go in and anybody can have a night. And, um, you know, we, we closed short too many times in that first half. They saw, you know, one, two, three go in and then, you know, they just started feeling good about it. And at that point, um, you know, we started scrambling and, you know, the shots just kept, kept going in. But um, I think it was us. Um, not taking up that space to begin with and allowing them to see, you know, enough of those threes go in and start feeling good about themselves. And um, we all know what happens, you know, once that, that starts. Um, Dame, did some of the turnovers, do you think, contribute to that a little bit where they were just able to, to obviously stop your possessions but then get, get rolling, transition, and, and find some of that space? Yeah, I mean, if it, anytime you turn the ball over, you um, are giving yourself – one less opportunity to to get a shot up on the rim to score, and um, you're also giving them an opportunity to attack without your defense being set. Um, and you just you know there's no way for the offense to know when the turnover is going to happen. So a lot of times you know you might have somebody in the corner, you might have two guys behind the play because they're in the paint, you know, um, and then they get out and they're running you off balance. You know, it leads to easier basket, it leads to, you know, us scrambling and, be, and being out of position. And um, I did think, you know, we, we turned the ball over too much, especially with, with them making shots and us, you know, not having a great flow offensively um, consistently through the game and, you know, starting with myself. You know, I think um, when I have the, the amount of responsibility that I have handling the ball, I can't turn the ball over five times. Um, maybe uh, off, you said lack of flow, and Doc had said it, obviously it was a little different from last game in terms of the ball movement mm. and sort of getting everyone involved. What kind of contributed that to a degree where, where maybe it was a little stickier tonight to a degree? Um, I think sometimes it just happens. Um, you know, sometimes the ball is just hopping around. You know, I think when you um, start to play that way, it's, it's kind of contagious. You know, you see what's happening. It kind of gives energy to the team. And... Um, I remember a couple of minutes going by tonight to start the game, and it was like zero to zero. Like, neither team had scored. Um, but I think tonight they started making shots, and I think we started just trying to get ours back. You know, we didn't, um, I guess, stick to the script and just, you know, trust what, we, what we've been doing completely. You know, I think we had moments of it, but, um, you know, I think we just got away from, you know, what we were doing last game. And it's, it's early, and, you know, you just got to continue to build those types of habits, you know, even when it's not – going well, you still got to be able and willing to to trust, you know, that it's going to work out and uh, we're going to generate good shots. And, uh, you know, also that way everybody's involved and it's a, a more natural flow to the game. Uh, just between you and Giannis, how do you feel that the uh, the two-man game has been developed so far in the first two weeks or first two games of the season? Uh, I think it's, it's better already. Um, you know, just from a, even a communication standpoint, you know, during the game, coming out of huddles, we just having a lot of interactions about, you know, what side of the floor we want to be on, who we want to get um, in the action, you know, what we want to accomplish when we do it, how they're covering us. You know, it's just been a lot of interaction between us um, in that way. Um, and I think that's already improvement um, from last season. And, um you know, I think as the season goes on and we continue to be in those situations and see all the coverages and see what's working and see what, what we both like, it'll just continue to get better. How does experiencing a game like this with this type of adversity help your team, like this early in the season? Uh, I think it'll help our team because uh, it'll show you that when you do what you're supposed to do and, you know, you trust and you – you execute, you you know, do your job and then do your next job defensively, we can have a game like we had in Philly, you know, where it was pretty simple. And uh, when you think that you can win without doing those things, you know, just because we got talent and, um, you know, we can score a lot of points, um, you can be beat. And I think that's the one lesson that we can take away from this game because 
you know, our, our home opener, um, you know, we come in feeling like it's a game. We should win, but um, you got to be disciplined. You got to, you know, be willing to bite down and do the things that, you know, is it might be simple. Um, it might not um, be, too, you know, cute. It's just, you know, hard work. It's simple. It's just having that discipline and that trust. Um, and those types of things win you these kind of games, you know, regardless of what's happening with the other team. And um, we saw tonight when we don't do that consistently through the game, you can lose. When you see things just not going your way, in particular on offense, how do you create that energy just from a leadership standpoint? Uh, I think you just got to um, calm the group down, not by trying to go make something happen yourself. Um, we got to get back to our execution, you know, uh, just know what type of possession we need to have, who needs to be in what spots um, when we call our play so we know where the ball is going to end up. We know what defenders are going to end up in the action. And, um, you know, that just takes us slowing down and being able to talk each other through that, you know, and not, you know, seeing them going on the run or making shots and feel like we got to go get it all back at once. You know, we got to we got to trust in those moments. And um, I think the, the best teams since I've been in the league, you know, that's what they all do. You know, they don't change when they're doing great and they don't change when it's when it's not going great. You know, they do it harder and they try to um, trust each other more. And I think that's what we got to, you know, continue to grow at. There are some nights when, simply put, the other team's just going to hit a lot of shots, right? And so from your perspective, how do you decipher, like, where are opportunities for the team to improve versus chalking it up to a hot shooting night for the other squad? I think it's definitely nights where you just say they had a night, you know. Um, I don't think tonight was one of those nights. You know, they did make a lot of shots, um, but I thought we we helped them. Like I said, in the first half, we came into the game knowing, you know, they want to shoot more threes. They got this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy that can shoot. And um, you know, we closed short. You know, we didn't we didn't help each other. We didn't we didn't rotate sometimes. You know, a couple times guys going downhill. We see the back of their jersey. We know that it's a big pop and that can shoot. We supposed to late switch, and we kept chasing the guy. And then they throw it back. There's no way the big is going to get back to that. So, I mean, we just had a lot of situations where we didn't do our jobs good enough, and that led to them getting clean looks. And like I said, they see the ball go in. Any NBA player see the ball go in, two, three clean looks, they're going to think every shot is going in. And they had multiple guys um, experience that, you know, Kobe White, um, Craig Smith, or uh, – Levine, I mean, it seemed like everybody was getting clean looks. And, you know, as the game went on, they were they were believing. And now at this point, you're trying harder, but now they, they've seen the ball go in enough times to where they, they playing with a lot of a lot of confidence. And that's different if you take that away early in the game and they miss a few and you make them put it on the floor. I think as the game goes on, it's, you know, when we're trying to make our runs and we cut it to six or cut it to four, they're not answering with, three after three after three and building that lead back up because you you didn't allow them to feel that way about themselves to start. So uh, they did shoot well, but I thought we, like I said, we, we helped them, you know, have that type of belief.